वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू एस वी यूनियन हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज स्टैंडर्ड फाइव इंग्लिश पोम काउंट योर गार्डन काउंट योर गार्डन इज अ ब्यूटिफुल पोम विच इंस्पायर्स अस टू लुक एट द ब्राइटेस्ट साइड ऑफ लाइफ एंड बी हैप्पी इंस्टेड ऑफ लुकिंग एट एनीथिंग नेगेटिव एंड regretting or feeling sorry for the same and at the same time not dwelling in the past the poet has explained this by giving some beautiful examples the poet encourages us to count a garden by the beauty of the flowers and not by the falling leaves In our life there are many happy moments and sad moments the happy moments golden hours should be cherished while the unhappy moments should not be remembered at all at the night we must admire the starry sky and not the shadows on the ground we should count our life by the moments which brought a smile on our face and not those which move us to tears the poet finally says that on our birthday we should not count our age by the passing years but the number of friends we have we should learn to count our blessings and be grateful for all the good things we are blessed with and consider ourselves lucky for having what we have we must learn how to count things in our life we must count our garden by the flowers that we see here there and not the leaves our lives must be remembered by all the good things that have taken place and not the bad things we must count our nights by the stars that we see again all the good things and not by the shadows we must make note of all the time we have smiles and not by our tears we must count our age by the friends we have and not the years that have gone by so now we recite the poem count your garden count your garden by the flowers never by the leaves that fall count your days by golden hours don't remember clouds at all count the nights by the stars not shadows count your life by smiles not tears and with joy on every birthday count your age by friends not years the explanation of the poem count your garden according to the poet we should count a garden by the flowers in it by giving some beautiful examples and not by the falling of leaves and never think of the past according to the poet we should look at the brighter side of the life and always count our blessings and be happy instead of looking anything negative and feel sorry for the same and at the same time not dwelling in the past according to the poet we should count a garden by the flowers in it and not by the falling leaves and never think of the past in our life there are happy moments and sad moments our life must be remembered by all the good things that have taken place and not the bad things or sad moments happy moments are the golden hours they should be cherished and utilized while the unhappy moments 
should not be remembered at all we must count our nights by the stars that we see at night we must admire the stars in the sky and not the shadows on the ground we should count our life by the moments which brought a smile on our face and not those which moved us to our tears on every birthday we should joyfully count our age by friends and not by the years that have gone by we should learn to count our blessings and be grateful for all the good things we are blessed with and consider ourselves lucky for having all that on or what we have count your garden we must learn how to count things in our lives we must count our garden by the flowers that we see there and not the leaves our lives must be remembered by all the good things that have taken place and not the bad things we must count our nights by the stars that we see again all the good things and not by the shadows we must make note of all the times we have smiles and not by our tears we must count our age by the friends we have and not the years that have gone by one classify as happy and sad things happy things flowers golden hours stars smiles friends in your life sad things falling of leaves clouds shadows tears passing years make a list of rhyming words flowers hours fall tall tall all tears years question 3 what is the central idea of the poem answer the central idea of the poem is that we should learn to look at the brighter side of life and always count our blessings according to the poet how should we count a garden answer according to the poet we should count a garden by the flowers in it question 5 what should we not remember at all answer we should not remember the dark clouds at all question 6 what should we do joyfully on every birthday answer on every birthday we should joyfully count our age by friends and not by the years that pass question 7 explain the line count your life by smiles not tears answer the above line means that there will be happy times and sad times in our life we should count our blessings by the happy times and not those which moved us to tears a complete the following a count your garden by the flowers b count your life by the smiles not tears ninth name a few other things that people often count on answer a parents help b loyal friends c teachers guidance d faith in god e our inner strength confidence b activity complete the web diagram using a 
naming words that is nouns from the form b words associated with emotions i naming words friends flowers stars b words associated with emotions joy smiles tears match the rhyming words first flowers ours second tall all third tears years give another title to the poem the title is count your blessings thank you